Hey guys, welcome to my uh, first ever stream on my channel, uh, live stream. We're going to be uh, uh, basically just going over some uh, updates in my greenhouse here uh, because I haven't really had time. i got to go to school soon to study with some friends uh, for uh, one of my exams coming up. But I wanted to do a live uh, stream so then if you guys had any questions I can go ahead and answer them while I'm here um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, get started with anything. So. Um, I guess what I can start with is maybe uh, uh, the bonsai, uh, or um, not orchid, but bonsai pineapple that I've had. Uh, excuse me. Um, if you guys remember, I had a uh, bonsai pot, and I had a little pineapple that was growing inside of a little, uh, little uh, tiny cup, and it had bunches of roots. And I wanted to uh, go ahead and make it into a bonsai, see what would happen. And so I put in the bonsai pot, and it's been doing very well. I'll go ahead and show you right now. So this is the uh, pineapple. It's done <laughs> incredibly well, actually. But in the center here, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one right here, this leaf, is coming out serrated. It's really, really, really cool, actually, because like no other leaf is like that on here. So I think this is like the beginning of like a new, kind of like a mature leaf that's coming out, and this is like what they start looking like when they're gonna produce pineapples. I don't know if it's going to produce a pineapple anytime soon, maybe in like a year, but keeping my fingers crossed. So this is doing pretty good. Okay, set that down over here. Alright, um, let's see, let's see what else we got. Um, my orchids have been doing okay, but it's been really, really hot out here, and um, I don't know, it hasn't been all that great. but. Um, everything seems to be doing all right for the most part, but just because of this darn heat, it's nothing's been all that great. You know, everything's been getting burnt, and I don't know, it's not really doing all that well. Okay, making sure. Let's see what we got here. Alrighty. Alright, but, um, let's see what else we got. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys remember, I had a... Uh, more on pineapples, which is awkward because I don't really grow pineapples, but um, I did uh, I did want to try growing some since I found one at a uh, Trader Joe's and like I said I'll try growing one and then that's okay So this is the cool thing. Let me go ahead and show you guys this. Okay, so this is the original pineapple that I got from Trader Joe's now this pineapple is actually uh, well, as you can tell, it's not really one pineapple anymore. It's like three. So what happened was it created a little pineapple, and it came up right here, and it made a little tiny pineapple fruit. And I went ahead and harvested it, and I cut it uh, right here. But I wanted to see what would happen if I cut the plant, and if I just kept growing it. I'm like, oh, is it going to create new pups, or is it going to die? And sure enough, it created new pups. So I have three new pineapple plants that are coming in and it definitely is in need of a repotting as you can see here uh, it's growing absolutely crazy um, this particular species is known as uh, Ananas camosus that's pretty cool um, but the but what I wanted to tell you guys was that this um, uh, this plant that I just showed you and the pineapple that I cut the pineapple is this. So basically, when I took that pineapple fruit off, this is the crown. So they're all related. They're all the same plant. So I think that's kind of cool. They're like sisters. So just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was pretty interesting. But yeah, it's, this one's doing really good. I'm very impressed with this one. All right. Um, let's see what else. And then I also wanted to show you guys my uh, my dendrobium plant that's over here. I showed you guys the keiki that was coming out. The keiki is doing very well. I'll go ahead and grab it over here. Oh, it's attached to another plant. Alright, so this is the plant here. It's known as uh, Dendrobium bur burana jade. So it's a green, green plant. Well, green flower. And here is the keiki. I went ahead and cut the spike off right here. Since it wasn't really contributing much to the plant itself, I just went ahead and cut it off so then I could let this cakey grow in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cakey there. So cool. 
and uh, it's growing lots of these little roots. Uh, you can tell they're getting dry because they're all white, but uh, should be fine, I guess, as long as you uh, keep watering it and uh, make sure it's all humid in here. And then we have a brand new cane that's coming in. It's very healthy. Glad to see that. Oh, God. Okay. And then my final point, what I wanted to get to today, is I wanted to tell you guys about the orchid mantises. Um, okay, so this is all the trouble I've been having with my orchid babies. So I'm going to tell you the full story right now. Um, it's not really emotional for me, but it's it kind of disturbs me to talk about it because, uh, you know, I grew these beautiful little orchid mantises from nymphs and, you know, it's, yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll get to it. So this is it here. Um, my orchis, orchid mantises are actually, um, well, okay, so I grew them and they were both female and so I had to go look for males. Well, okay, so I found some uh, someone who was selling males and I had my females and they were both basically mature and I didn't know that they had to be like three or four weeks even longer older to actually be able to mate because um, I thought once males were ready you know and the females just matured that it was time so I went ahead and, and bought two mature male orchid mantises Hymenopus coronatus and they came from Europe and I was expecting them to die but they came in the mail as uh, one of my previous videos showed so they were doing, they did alright, but then, um, you know, I was trying to breed them, I tried putting them in the cage, I wanted to show you guys that, but I wanted to make sure there was a successful uh, breeding attempt first before I showed you guys, because then I'd do the other one and then you guys would see it. Well, when I did that, nothing would happen. Every time the male would try to get onto the abdomen of the female and try to breed, she would, every, both of them, they would both turn around and try to strike the male, and one time she even got one of the males, I think this was a uh, blossom, got one of the males and I had to pry him from her, her like little, her little arms. It was unbelievable how strong she was, but I was able to save him. But then like a week later, the males just died. I don't even know why I fed them and they just didn't make it. So, um, I was really fed up with it and I was about to just give up and say, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to breed the mantises and it's, I'm just going to leave it as is. But I decided to go ahead and send, okay, so one person, I went onto the mantis forum and I sent one of my mantises out. She said she would breed her for me and then send her back. So then I would get the oofs and, and stuff and then I could hatch it myself. Well, I did that and when I sent her, the lady told me that she was able to breed her and she sent it back. Well, when I got her back, um, she died. And this was uh, Bubbles, my favorite one. So I'm very, very disappointed about that. She just, she just died in transit or something like that. And she just looked all brown and I felt so bad and I, I didn't want to make a video because it was really disturbing me because I'd grown her for, for a while and you know, you grow attached to them. So I was getting very, very upset with the whole process, and so I went ahead and just, I left it as is. I, you know, I, I talked to the lady, and I asked her, I said, you know, like, like what you do wrong, and she fed her worms and stuff, things that I basically, I wouldn't give her. So I was very disappointed, and I just left it as is. I'm like, whatever. We both lost here because I guess she ate, my mantis ate one of her males, so whatever, I guess it was equal. But, um, anyways, now the other orchid mantis, my other one, my other female, Blossom, she is actually currently away as well. I kind of just got rid of her, you know, because I know she's not going to basically do anything here, because I have no males for her, so I sent her to another, another guy, and she did make it, and I said, you know what, don't send her back to me, because she'll probably die. I said, if you want, just go ahead and send me, like half of the babies that hatch from all of her oofs. And so he agreed, and now I'm waiting, and he hasn't been the nicest. Uh, I've been trying to ask him questions, and he basically says I'm prying too much, and I'm too, I don't know, like I'm basically, like, worrying too much. And I, he should understand since, you know, this is a mantis that I've grown from a nymph, I've gotten attached to her, and yet she just wants to you know, he wants to just block me from her. So, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm waiting on the 
on the ooth to hatch because she laid one a, almost a month ago and they usually hatch within a month to a month and a half so I will be contacting him soon and I better get a response and uh, I don't know I'm just gonna have to keep my fingers crossed on this and hopefully he works with me um, but I said don't send her back so basically she won't be dying in my possession which I mean I feel a little disappointed about for sending her away but she would just die with me anyway because I don't have any males here so that's actually the entire story there so one of them did die and the other one right now is actually producing babies elsewhere so um, that's that's what's going on guys um, yeah I'm, it's it's bothering me it's just a little bit I'm a little distressed but anyways um, if you guys remember I did make another video a long time ago can't remember how long it was like uh, about violent mantises um, gongies uh, that's uh, usually uh, that's another name for them um, I do I had five at one time and I don't know what happened but I was feeding them flies and stuff and then all of a sudden I kept them in my house and um, it was pretty warm but obviously it wasn't warm enough every time they would shed they would have mist molts and out of the five or six that I had all of them died except for one and I still have that one left and it is a female but I was just like why is this happening so I still have her um, I'll go ahead and show you guys so I have her in this little cage and I actually keep her outside out here it's pretty hot out but that's usually what they like it's it gets about 80 to 90 out here it depends and but she's been doing fine I mean she she's very ravenous she eats pr pretty much every day and I have to feed her but I'm gonna go ahead and take her out for you guys real quick before I go um, I do have to get going here soon let's see yeah yeah gotta get going all right so I'm gonna try taking her out for you So you can see her. Oh, there we go. Right there. So she's doing pretty good. I think she's like in her L... Oh, I want to say an L4 right now, but I'm not too sure actually. But she's definitely a female, but I just don't know what to do with her at the moment. I want to get a male, but like I said, I'm still kind of new to this whole mantis thing. I have done my research and she's doing very well, but I just don't know with the breeding thing because of all the bad experiences I've had with my orchid mantises. So, but yeah, she's she's doing great and she looks beautiful. I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like when she's older. She's gonna get so big. Go ahead and put her back in her cage. And you know what, they love hanging upside down. That's their thing, they love hanging upside down. They don't like crawling around, but this is what they do. So, I just leave her in here and I think I, I water maybe once every couple days because it gets so hot out here. The water just evaporates like, like that. So I just have to water constantly and make sure that she's doing well and I have to feed her a lot too. But um, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little update. Uh, and I uh, told you the story of the Orchimantisus. Sorry for the lighting. Um, but yeah, it just really bothers me. So, But anyways, you know, that's, that's life. That's how things happen. Nothing can always go to, go as planned. So, yep, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I shall be uh, seeing you all later, and uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.